created great beauty. He was a friend to all things wild, and the wild things repaid him with their friendship. I've never seen one like it hereabouts before. Bloody have it then. Hold it, Jeb. She's coming lower. But him. Last him. You shot over his land before. Land. It's my land. But you're welcome here. Without shotguns. be the first person ever to visit me here. People in the village say we should keep away from you. <laughs> the people in the village usually do. You say you're bad. Uh, perhaps. But at least that poor bird won't know it. Come along. Don't you want to help her? Let's 
understand that this is a hospital. And I'm a doctor. And you are the nurse. That table will be the operating table. Now, they are down. Flying south to the warm savannas, where you feed. 
days and nights it held you in its grip, blowing you west to east. And when the wind blew itself out, you found yourself over a strange land, all lost. She hasn't any family anymore. A bitter welcome awaited her here, friend. Will she be all right now? What? Sail unseen away from those people that I 
answer the call of the north and this year the spring arrived late when at last in March they flew away they left behind the wounded snow goose under Ryder's care the damaged wing mended rapidly and she learnt to feed at his call the girl Frith was a frequent visitor to the lighthouse from him she learned the lore of every wild bird from gull to jer falcon that flew the marshes. In December, the snow came and winter locked the great marsh in ice. Ryada worked continuously, painting the loneliness and the smell of the salt-laden cold, the eternity and agelessness of marshes, wild living creatures and frightened things taking to the air. And by this time, the snow goose had grown so tame it followed Ryder about, even into the studio where he worked. Hold her, Frith. Hold her. Hold her. She's wriggling. I don't know how to draw wriggles. Shh. You must be quiet, Frith. Can't draw wriggles. It was in the marshes I found her. I found her. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Winter passed. Ryder was content in the knowledge that when storms blew and food was scarce, his birds were safe. He had gathered to the security of his own heart these wild, beautiful creatures who knew and trusted him. But he knew that in the spring, they would answer the call of the north when they migrated to their breeding grounds below the ice rim. Departure of the snow goose, the visits of Frith to the lighthouse ended. Philip Ryder learned all over again the meaning of the word loneliness. The world outside seethed and rumbled with the eruption that was soon to break forth and mark its destruction, but it did not touch him. But when in October the bird did not return, 
Uriah was heartbroken. All things seemed to have ended for him. The last of the barnacles returned. My little family is complete again. The snow ghost did not return. Neither did Fritham. A year passed on the Great Marsh, marked by the height of the tides, the march of the seasons, the ceaseless migration of the birds. Mr. Ryder, this is the third time this week you've been here. Now, oh, where did I put it? Ah, oh, it is. On His Majesty's service. Will you be going off, Mr. Ryder? Will Dowdy, occupation merchant, age 57, weapon, shotgun. Harry Rogers, occupation farmer, age 60. Harry Rogers is 67 if he's a day. <laughs> Good show. Weapon, pitchfork. Could I have an application form, please? Yes, of course, Mr. Ryder. But you see, uh, let me have a copy of those latest regulations. Latest regulations? Form HG351. Oh, come along, Jane. Yes, that's right. Actually, Mr. Ryder, if I remember, your lighthouse is just over our parish boundary. 
That puts you in with the Felton people. You'll have to try there. I have already applied in Felton, and they told me to apply here. I regret I have nothing appropriate. Civil defense. Couldn't I join the civil defense? I don't think we have any civil defense forms at the moment. Civil defense forms, yes, yes. I live in a lighthouse, sir. Couldn't I join the Observer Corps? At the moment, I understand the Observer Corps is fully manned in this area. There must be something that I can do. Uh, Mr. Ryder, in a moment of stress, in a real emergency, it could be a hindrance. Do you see what I mean? so if she were wild? No. It's the same, Fritha. The same, Fritha. Come home. Steady now. Steady now. Uh, where have you been? What? Oh, no, no, no. Over what snows? Ooh. <laughs> family again. Perhaps they were lost in a storm too. Perhaps that's why she came back to us. Perhaps. Yes. Yes. Perhaps. Oh, no, 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 no. There we are. Frith! It's been three years, Frith! Let's have a party to 
celebrate our all being together again. What have you done? You're different. Where are your brains? I must go now. We're working on the boat. Will you come back to visit her again? I'll come whenever I can. White front, Frith. Late for this time of year. December 16th, 1939. Why'd you do that? Well, there's a code number on it beside the date. Now, the next person that finds him will know where he came from, when, and how long he went to there. It's not going to hurt. There we are. There we are, Fritz. That way we can keep track. We want to know and preserve the feeding grounds. You see where? Thousands of years ago, when you were just a little girl. Wasn't all that little, was I? Just you paint it. Oh, not so long ago. It's been drying. I, I was just going to varnish it. pen as I go by. Is this what flying must be like? Yes. These are our wings, Frith. There is nothing as free as sail. All wild things are free, Frith, like our spirits. When I'm running with the wind, I feel like flying up there with those birds. Look, Frith! Look! <laughs> She's following you! It's you she follows. It was you that healed her. Oh, you that named her. Are you happy, Frith? Oh, yes. Ah, good. Oh! <laughs> Hold her there, Frith! Look, Frith! Look! The utter contempt of it all. Hello. Let's turn back. Let's turn back. Where haven't they gone? 
perhaps they will. Soon. What are the two?
Dad, Kirk! I don't understand. Why must you go? Well, haven't you heard? Our armies are stranded there. The Germans have broken through to the coast and surrounded them. They've been shot to pieces. We've got to try and help them get off. But what can you do, Philip? Help get them off. They're trapped on the beaches. They've been pushed into the sea. They're stranded up to their waist in water. I've got to help them, Fritha. But you don't have to go. Look, Fritha, they've called out for every able-bodied man and boat on the coast. The big ships are waiting offshore. They need the help of us to get them off the shallows. I'm afraid for you, Philip. Don't go. These men are lost, Frith. Like the snow goose we found in the marshes and we healed. These men need help now. They need me. And I must go because I can. No one can stop me this time. Now, Frith, Frith. For once, Frith. I can be a man and play my part. Take me with you, Philip. I can handle the boat while... Your place in the boat would mean a soldier left behind, then another, then another. I must go alone. You won't come back. Ah. Look after the birds for me till I come back. Goodbye, Frith. Speed, Philip. Speed. Philip Rada, have you seen him? Sorry, Fritz. Do you mean the big fella with the beard and the, the arm back? Yes. Yes, miss, we saw him. He had a ruddy bird with him. 
Well, me and my mates have stood there in the water up to our waist. Come on, all of you, come on! All the smoke and noise, the stukas bombing and strafing all round. I can only take the seven at a time! Come on, come on! None of us would have made it but for him. We must have made seven or eight trips before... Well, well, before we lost sight of him. You lost sight of him? What happened to him? Didn't you ever see him again? I'm afraid we did, miss. We bedded him at sea. Let go forward! Aye, aye, sir! Walk on forward! Let go out! Walk on off! Slow ahead! Thank you.